Welcome back watch lovers. Today we are taking a look at my three favorite guilloche dolls. Stick around. Welcome back to Swiss Watch Expo, and today we are taking a look at my three top picks for guilloche dials. So I really wanted to showcase the intricacies of these watches because it's such a great technique that's been around for a very long time. Uh, guilloche is a French term that kind of represents the almost an engine turn design on the dial. Uh, in the past, in the history, it used to be where the design was done with concentric circles, but now it just represents any kind of detailing that you have where there's a lot of different textures and waves and patterns that have been etched into the texture of the dial. So I picked three of the brands that we carry here. We have a Patek Philippe Gondolo. We have uh, and a Cartier Rotonde, and we have a Breguet Big Marine. So let's get right into it. The first one we'll take a look at today is going to be the Patek Philippe Gondolo. Now, I love this one initially just from looking at the tonneau case shape with this kind of almost uh, tiny at the top near the lugs, and then it kind of peeks out a little bit here around the crown. The detailing on this watch is stunning. When you do a little research on the Gondolo collection, you'll come to find that in the early 1800s, Patek Philippe had a wonderful re relationship with a brand in South America and Brazil that uh, that name came from. There was a huge retailer that carried their watches and it actually was so big of a deal that when anyone referred to a watch, whether it was Patek or, for not, or, or not there in Brazil, Brazil they were speaking about a watch in general. Uh, that shows you how much of an impact that Patek Philippe had on the watchmaking industry. So if you take a look at the dial here, right in the center, you'll see that texture, and that is what you call the guilloche on the dial. You know, they say that the guilloche term was named after a French uh, engineer that created that technique, but you know, that is up in the air as far as if that's true or not. So let us know down in the comments what you've heard about that. So in this oval shape area, you'll see that beautifully textured dial surrounded by the Breguet style numerals. And then you'll have the beautiful arrow hands here. This is an automatic movement that has a beautiful exhibition case back. If you take a look at that movement there, it's done in the white gold, an absolutely stunning, unique piece. So not only from a distance, do you have that gorgeous detail? When you get up close, you can see that it continues on. So that is one of the reasons this is one of my favorites. Next up, we'll take a look at the Cartier Rotonde. Uh, I've come to realize that over time, I've become a big fan of any retrograde watch. So this one is going to be a retrograde GMT, meaning that this hand right here will represent the other time zone somewhere throughout the world, whether it's in Europe or uh, Asia. And then of course you'll have your outer sweep that will tell you your home time. And what happens with this uh, retrograde indicator here is that once it hits 12, it jumps back and starts back over. And then of course you'll have your small seconds here at the six, and then you'll have your day night moon phase, which will let you know, of course, if it's during the day or during the evening. Uh, the reason I chose this one, of course, that retrograde feature is a beautiful detail to me, but when you take a look at that guilloche around the outside, I think it's done in such an intricate matter, especially to implement those sub dials and still keep that pattern going. And then of course you'll have the Roman numerals there around the outer edge of the dial, the blue cabochon on the outside done in the 18 karat rose gold. And this is gonna be a little bit larger timepiece at 42 millimeters, but absolutely stunning. A beautiful, beautiful watch. And I think that this would be an amazing addition to any collection. So again, that de guilloche detailing is just something that you can enjoy when you get close to the watch and take a look at the dial. And you want something with a little more detailing. 
And then last, but certainly not least, is the Brigade Big Marine. So when you think of Brigade, you think of watchmaking. Many of the brands throughout history have utilized their movements. And this one in particular was created by Abraham Louis Brigade uh, in the early 1800s, 1815 or so, uh, to create a commissioned watch for the French Royal Navy. So it is a watch that has a beautiful history. And when you take a look at this guilloche dial, I'm going to give it a little move there because you may be able to see it's almost like a spiral pattern. I mean, this is probably one of the best guilloche examples that I've seen. I love how they have the blue Roman numerals as well as the blue steeled hands. The brigade will also have the protected crown with a little raised efforts on the outside here. And then you'll have some beautiful etching around the outer edges of the case as well, if you take a look at that. This is a stunning watch. This is something that if you are a true watch lover, this is going to be a collector's piece for sure. Of course, you'll have that texture mirrored here in the beautiful uh, strap, as well as a gorgeous, gorgeous brigade buckle, beautiful big brigade, uh, tang buckle, which is kind of used, unusual for a watch like this. So this is a gorgeous piece to add to any collection. Three of my favorite guilloche dials. And then if you'd like to see this a little bit closer in detail, I'm not sure if all of the guilloche is translated to the camera. We'd be happy to do a quick FaceTime with you and let you take a look at it. So three top favorite guilloche dials. Let us know down in the comments what your favorites are. This is Angel again here at Swiss Watch Expo, and we'll see you next time.